All right, we're going to be using graspable math to solve two-step equations. Uh, two-step equations, pretty traditional. What's not traditional is the idea of using graspable math. It's an unbelievably powerful tool to help students focus on the algebra versus the arithmetic that they often get tripped up with while they're busy focusing on the algebra. So. Uh, let's just get started on this because it's just way too stinking awesome. So we've got this equation 5x plus 7 is equal to 52. We're trying to find the value of x that makes that 52 work. So we're in graspable math. How do I know? Because I, way up here it says graspablemath.com and I've got my equation. How did I get that equation? I just way up here in the upper left hand corner I clicked on insert equation and I typed in the expression that I wanted. Super simple on how to solve this equation. Oh, but first, notice when I mouse over the equation, I get this little circle thing. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that circle and I'm just gonna drag it and all that does is it makes an exact copy of the original equation. I can click the arrange button and move them around wherever I want them to go. And the reason I want to copy is because I'm going to solve the equation here on the left and then I'm going to substitute it into the original equation to verify that I'm correct. All right, so uh, on this left side right here, all right, so what am I going to do? Well, I want to get rid of that 7. So in graspable math, it doesn't get any easier than this. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to grab just the 7. Notice only the 7 is highlighted. Nothing else is highlighted. I'm going to click and hold on that 7 and I'm going to I'm going to drag it. Now I could drag it anywhere, but I'm going to drag it across the equal sign. Now watch what happens to that plus 7 when I drop it across the equal sign. It becomes minus 7. So what I did was I minus 7 to both sides. I'm going to click this operator right here, this minus 7 that makes it go away. I'm going to click this minus and it combines that 52 minus 7 and gives me 45. And then what am I going to do? Well, I want to divide this 5. I'm going to get rid of this 5. So I'm going to click and hold on that 5 and I'm going to drag it over here underneath this 45. Notice that's where the, the blue line is trying to put it. And when I do that, really what I did was I divided both sides by 5 and I can click on my div division symbol to simplify. I can click on this division symbol to simplify. I now get the value x is equal to 9. How do we know? How do we check it? Well, uh, let's see. I'm going to click arrange. I'm going to kind of move this a little bit to the right and go back into transform. Check this out. I want to take this 9 and I'm going to stuff it into this X to evaluate that expression. So I'm literally just going to click on that 9 and I'm going to drag it up into the X and the X will be replaced by the 9 and now I just follow the order of operations to simplify. Now if I try and add before multiplying by clicking on that plus sign, it says nope, you are not allowed to add right now. So I click on this parenthesis because I want to multiply. So clicking on that parenthesis turns it into multiplication. It already was multiplication, but it really just highlights the fact that that five parenthesis nine means multiply. So I'm going to click on that multiplication, which gives me 45. Now I'm able to add. So I'm going to click on the add and it gives me 52. And because the left side is 52 and the right side is 52, that means my uh, evaluation or my calculation that X is equal to nine is correct. Let's do one more problem before we wrap this baby up. So I'm going to click that new button. I'm going to click insert. I'm going to type in the expression. Oh, let's do X divided by two minus five is equal to, oh, let's say seven. So there's my expression. I'm going to hit done. And there we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of it because I know I'm going to evaluate my expression. Oh, let's zoom in a little bit. And on the left, we're going to solve the, the equation on the left, and then we're going to substitute it into the right. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh, golly, what could I do? Well, Let's take care of this minus five. I'm gonna hold down the shift key. I'm gonna select that five and I'm gonna move it to the right side, which really means I'm adding five to both sides. And that makes the 
five go away on the left side and then seven plus five gives me 12. And now I've got this two down here. So I'm gonna click and hold on that two and I'm gonna move it over here to the right, to the other side of that, oops, it didn't let, didn't let me do it, there it goes. And so really all I'm doing is multiplying both sides by two. I click on my division symbol to simplify those twos and notice it won't let me. It's saying, no, you're trying to skip too many steps. So really what I wanna do is I wanna kind of like reduce these twos. This is two over two, which is equal to one. So I'm gonna click and hold on this two and I'm gonna drag it up on top of this other two and that simplifies it. So it, was letting, it wouldn't let me skip so many steps. And now down here, I got this 12 times two, which gives me 24. So now I think my value of X is 24. How do we check it? We're gonna drag it into the other equation. So I'm gonna click and hold on that 24 and I'm gonna just insert it into that X. I now get 24 divided by two. Uh, you know, it just, it doesn't like the fact that I'm trying to skip too many steps. I'm clicking on that division symbol. So I'm gonna click on the parentheses to clear the parentheses. Now I'm gonna click on the division, which gives me 12. Then I can click, click on the subtraction, that gives me seven. Since seven is equal to seven, that tells me that my original answer, that X is equal to 24, is indeed correct. Folks, that wraps up this video of how to use graspable math to solve two-step equations and easily evaluate that equation with your answer to check to see if you're correct.